How's it going everyone? I know it's been a very long time, but I recently got extremely addicted to a really fun new mobile game. I've been playing it pretty much non-stop and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit of info about it, but also more importantly, if you do decide to get into this game, I wanted to tell you guys some must know tips and information so you guys don't end up making a few of the really big mistakes that I've made here at the start. Now I've been playing for about a week, but honestly I probably have only had to be playing for a day or two because I I probably made about five days worth of mistakes that have caused me to want to restart over and over so with that being said if you guys are interested this is not a sponsored video or anything like that I really do just truly enjoy this game nobody's paying me to play it um, but I'll leave a referral link in the description they actually just added this today which is great timing so if you guys do want to check it out if you want to use my referral link you'll get some rewards and I'll also get some goodies as well so it works out for everybody with that all being said though, let's jump into it and let's talk about some things that you want to know about this game so that you don't make some really big mistakes that are going to cause you to want to restart like I have. So let's start off with tip number one. Now this is going to be true for pretty much every single mobile game with a couple of exceptions, but uh, very, very important. So this is without a doubt the most important tip and that is don't commit to playing your first accounts. Now the reason isn't because you're going to make mistakes because everybody makes mistakes, but um, it has to do with the champions or the characters, the heroes, whatever you want to call them in this game. Just like a lot of mobile games, uh, it's all about the characters. It's all about uh, collecting characters and also about the power and the strength of your characters. And just like a whole bunch of other mobile games, this game has a, a rarity system, it has a star system. And of course, what you're going to want to try to do, especially if you want to play this game on a budget or even stay completely free to play, is you don't want to just commit to playing your first account because there's a good chance that you get along the lines and realize that you don't really have any good characters. Now at that point, it's going to be a lot more difficult in order to try to get the characters that you are looking for because, of course, it's always easier to do that stuff at the start. So my recommendations are, this is what I personally did, is I would just create a bunch of accounts. Um, you can play on an emulator, you can play on your phone, but I would run through, collect the daily rewards on your accounts, just kind of keep them all going, and once you end up getting the summoning ingredients, which are going to be shards in this game, uh, try to get a couple of the ancient shards, just keep logging in, maybe play through a little bit of the story, but definitely be playing on multiple accounts if you want to stay free to play or on a budget and then end up rolling all of the accounts that you have and see what you get. Uh, see if you've gotten any four star or five star uh, legendaries or epics. Um, and if you haven't, just kind of pick which rares that you want to keep and what account you're going to want to continue with because once you commit, then it's gonna be a lot more difficult to try to get the stuff that you're looking for later on. So um, obviously you can kind of do that however you want to, but I would definitely not immediately commit to playing your very first account. All right, tip number two. This is another really, really important fundamental for mobile games. Resource management is incredibly important in so many different mobile games, and this is definitely no exception. Now, there are plenty of different resources in this game, but uh, of course, the main one is going to be your energy or your stamina system. As you can see, I have over the limit. You want to try not to have this happen, and if you do go over the limit, what you want to do is you want to try to use up all the energy that you have so you can go below the maximum. Now, when you are above the maximum energy, you aren't going to be gaining energy over time like you normally would, but there are going to be periods of time when you do play this game where you're just going to have more than the maximum energy, especially when you first start out and you're going to be leveling up a bunch every single level is going to be giving you a full energy refill so for a pretty long time you're going to have over the maximum energy and you can see even my account at level 27 still has over a thousand energy right now but uh, very importantly is i'm not just talking about your maximum energy but there's a whole bunch of different things that you can look into a little bit deeper to min max this so that you really get the most out of your resources this is especially going to be important if you're free to play now things that i'm talking about are like your inbox now you're probably gonna get a bunch of goodies over time. Uh, if you don't want to collect them right away, just keep note how long those things can stay in your inbox. Obviously, the longer you can keep them there, the more you can kind of plan around when you're going to collect them, when you're going to use those resources and uh, stuff like that. Also from your dailies, right? If you have uh, rewards that are also very time focused, like energy or your arena tokens, which is gonna be your PVP resource, 
I would try not to collect these until very close to the end of the daily reset. If you end up just collecting all of your rewards right away, that's totally fine. It's not a bad option, but if you really want to play the game as efficiently as you can, um, you want to actually work on trying to know when the best times are going to be to collect your resources and kind of plan around doing that. Another important one is going to be like your XP boosts. Now this game has a couple of different boosts and uh, they're not all things that you buy from the shop. A lot of these are actually going to be free. They're going to be given to you just by playing the game. Now just an example, if I end up going to my quest, you'll see that I have some uh, energy waiting for me. I have some arena tokens. Four hours and four minutes left. I'm not going to collect these resources until probably 15 to 20 minutes before the reset. Now another one is going to be like your um, double experience boost. Here's some stuff that I have waiting for me that I have not actually claimed yet. Now if I go and uh, claim this, it'll give me a 100% experience boost for one day. But you don't have to collect all of these at once because you can actually maximize this, maybe collect these and then uh, when it runs out, that's going to be when you end up going to sleep or maybe not actually going through and playing a bunch of quests. You can kind of look into this a little bit deeper. There's no one right or wrong way to do this, but I would definitely spend a little bit of time just kind of learning the game resources and uh, not picking up everything right away. Very, very important for mobile games that focus on resource management like this. All right, number three. This is a really, really big one for this game. Um, I know this might not make a lot of sense if you don't know anything about this game, but artifacts are going to be your equipment system. Very simple. Uh, best way that I can describe it is you have your characters, your heroes, your champions, or, or what they are called in this game, and then you have your artifacts, which is quite simply your equipment. Now, equipment, obviously, we're not going to get into the extreme details of that in this video, but one really important thing that you want to know is there's a cost that uh, it costs silver to actually only equip gear. So you don't want to just take all the equipment that you get in the early game and put it on a bunch of your characters because if you ever want to remove it or you want to put different equipment on that character, you're going to actually have to pay a fee just to remove your gear. I know that seems a little bit strange, but once you learn a little bit more about the equipment system and how it works, it definitely makes a little bit more sense why it actually costs some currency in order to remove your gear. So um, I would Definitely not just equip the first stuff that you get. Maybe wait a little while or a good strategy that I actually used is uh, don't over equip your characters right at the start. Go through, play the campaign, play the story. And then once you start getting to points where your characters are struggling and you're not actually completing things, that's when you can start to work on uh, maybe changing some of your equipment and optimizing your character's gear. All right, number four. This is a very important one because of the way that uh, essentially progressing works in this game. Don't throw aside low star and rarity champions. Not only are some of them actually pretty darn good, and you can actually get all of them up to six stars, even the lowest rarity, the commons and the uncommons, but you're also going to need a whole bunch of low rarity champions in order to boost your other champions. Um, the way that it works is it's probably pretty similar to some other games, but uh, when you actually decide to start um, progressing your champions and increasing their maximum levels, your legendaries are going to have a starting maximum level of 50 and they're going to start at 5 stars. Then you're going to have your epics, which are 4 stars and 40. Your 3 stars are going to be your rares, which have 30 maximum level. Your uncommons, 2 stars, 20 maximum level, and then your commons, 1 star and maximum level of 10. Well, what you can actually do is just because a champion is common or uncommon, I could, if I wanted to, bring this Mage Killer champion all the way up to level 60 in six stars. But in order to do that, you're going to use a system that has you leveling up other champions and then essentially using them as resources to boost the maximum level of other characters. Now, uh, obviously, as you collect more and more champions and you kind of start to build your teams and your strategies on how you're going to progress the game, how you're going to do PvP and the arena system, you know, the clan features and all that, you're going to want to be leveling up all the different champions that you get and kind of working on those. So you will be using the low level and the low rarity units, even if you don't use them directly when you're fighting, you will still be using them to boost the other characters that you have. So definitely don't just vendor them or cast them aside. Um, not only that, but some of the rares and even some of the uncommons, which are the green characters, the green champions, they're actually decent even if you do decide to play them and uh, use them in things like the arena. And finally, 
tip number five this is a very very important one is maximize your afkable resources things like energy of course you know that's we've already talked about that a little bit but a really cool feature in the game is, is something called the sparring pit i know you probably don't know much about this game if you haven't played it before, but what this does is it allows you to uh, put a couple of characters in here and level them up over time. Now, as you can see, I have a level 18 character here with a maximum level 20, and over time, uh, this character is going to be gaining experience. In two and a half hours, I'm actually going to get this character and it's gonna level up to 19. Well, I wouldn't really recommend buying stuff or spending gems right away, especially if you haven't played this game. Definitely don't forget tip number one, do not commit to your first account, but uh, definitely be making sure to maximize these resources. If you have to AFK or go away for a really long time, you probably don't want to put a low level character in here because um, it's not going to take very long for it to get to a level up and it can't actually get multiple levels in here. So if you have to go away for a while, you want to put a high level character in here so that uh, when you come back, you'll have maximized the experience. Also things like the market, which is going to be your typical shop. I know a lot of uh, games have uh, sy systems like this where every hour it's going to refresh. Definitely keep an eye out for things like this. Um, definitely be maximizing your AFK resources because you don't even have to be playing. You can just check this every hour even if you are busy and don't really want to be playing the game actively at the moment. There's also a feature in the game called the mine. This is definitely something that I would recommend investing in uh, sooner rather than later because uh, while it costs a lot of gems to start off, what this is gonna do is it's going to give you gems over time. So it takes approximately three months for this in order to pay off, but uh, it's one of those resources, especially if you plan on being free to play or playing on a budget that you probably want to invest in earlier rather than later. Now, I'm sure there's plenty of other stuff that I have not talked about. What I wanted to do in this video is just do a brief overview and also get into the kind of the mistakes that I've been making earlier on. So if you guys do decide to give this game a try, um, hopefully you'll save like five to six days worth of experimenting and learning a lot of the stuff that I just told you guys in the last 10 minutes. Once again, if you guys are interested, if you want to uh, use my referral link, I'll leave a link in the description. You don't have to, of course, I'm not getting paid. I don't get anything except for the in-game bonuses for this referral link, which is just gonna be some energy, some shards, some tomes, and uh, some extra experience. But besides that, it's not like I'm getting paid. This isn't sponsored. I know this is, might be just kind of a random video out of nowhere, but you guys know that I do enjoy mobile games like this and uh, I've been pretty addicted. So um, I wanted to just tell you guys a little bit of info. Check this game out if you guys haven't, and uh, hopefully you guys learned a little bit from this video if you guys do decide to play. With that all being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like if you guys are new. People enjoy this stuff and I enjoy the game over the next couple of weeks. I'll definitely put some more videos out there, but once again, I've been pretty darn addicted to this game, so I definitely don't see myself stopping anytime in the immediate future. Thanks for watching everyone, have a great day, and until next time, this is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.